Jesus Christ is our true vine and we are the branches. How can we bear fruit in our Christian life? In the cultivation and growth of grapes, pruning is an essential part. Pruning is important for renewing the vine. It is a method of reshaping the whole vine. Every year, when the vine dresser prunes, he decides where the fruits are going to be located, where the leaves are going to be, and where the new shoots are going to emerge from. Through pruning, the vine dresser unifies the size and the form of the grape vine. Although there are many branches coming out from the main trunk, all of them are not going to yield fruit. When you cut off all the unnecessary branches that do not bear fruit, then you can direct all the energy that comes from the root to its branches. And eventually, it would produce the best fruit, the biggest and the juiciest grapes. Therefore, by pruning, the vine dresser aims at the maximum and the best grape harvest. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. And in the Gospel, Jesus says that He is the true vine and we are the branches. A branch cannot live on its own. Its whole existence is tied up to the vine. Branches will survive as long as they are connected to the vine. In the same manner, we become truly alive and we can perform good things only if we remain in Jesus Christ. But when we are separated from Jesus, we cannot do any good. Once separated from Jesus, we begin to spiritually wither. Finally, we will not bear fruit. Moreover, Jesus tells us that God the Father is the vine dresser. If the branches do not bear fruit, he breaks it off. He prunes every branch that it may bear much fruit. God prunes the branches so that he does not waste its energies in unnecessary directions. As individuals, we too are pruned by God so that we may produce bountiful harvest. It's through the pruning and the tender loving care of the gardener that the harvest will be multiplied. In the first reading, we can witness how Barnabas bears fruit and shows his love in his actions. After the conversion of Paul, the faithful in Jerusalem were doubtful about Paul's conversion. So Barnabas was the one who brought Paul into the community and reassured about his conversion. Paul, before his conversion, did not bear fruit. He caused damage to the vine and to its branches. That is why God pruned him. God made him fall on the way to Damascus and made him blind, so that he may change his ways and bear fruit. Then, after his conversion, Paul began his missionary journeys. He was so influential that he brought many Gentile souls into salvation. God pruned Paul that he would bear much fruit. And we know what the difference he made to the whole church after his conversion. The whole church began to bear fruit because of Paul. On this day, Jesus invites us to bear fruit. Just as the sap flows through the branches, we must allow Jesus' love to flow through us. Jesus wants us to remain united with him and to bear much fruit. If we are detached from Christ, it's time to get reattached to him and to produce rich fruit through our good works. Some of us may think that attending the Sunday Mass and saying the daily prayers are enough. But if we are true Christians, we must bear fruit. Yes, we should get connected with Christ by listening to the Word of God and by receiving the Holy Eucharist. But we cannot bear fruit unless we come out and put our faith into practice. It's our duty to practice what was preached at the pulpit. We must meditate and see whether we are sensitive to the sufferings of others. How many times did we reach out to others to give them a helping hand? How many souls have we brought back to Jesus? Did we live an exemplary life at home and at our workplaces? Could we practice Christian virtues of honesty and justice before the society? If we have failed, Let's get reconnected with Jesus. Let's remain in Christ and put his words into practice. Jesus is our true vine. We are the branches. 
let us bear much fruit in Jesus Christ.